हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम इन लेट्स कनेक्ट विद प्रेरणा माई टूडेज लाइफ कॉन्वर्सेशन इज विद प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एयरफोर्स स्कूल बैंगलोर एंड आई एम इन्वाइटिंग मैम टू ज्वाइन फॉर द कॉन्वर्सेशन I have invited uh, the principal of Air Force School, Bangalore, to join for the conversation, and uh, she'll be live with us in some time. Hello everyone and uh, my today's conversation is with the uh, principal of Air Force School Bangalore and I have invited uh, ma'am to join for uh, the conversation I have invited ma'am to join in uh, for the conversation for today's talk show and uh, she'll be live with us in some time as i've said my today's conversation is with the uh, principal of a4 school bangalore and uh, Ma'am, I've received your. I can see you live, and I have accepted your uh, request. It says unable to join. I'm accepting it again. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Prena. Hi, ma'am. Ma'am, you'll have to adjust your camera a bit. this way yeah it's perfect now okay you want it this way yeah 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 it's fine it's it's absolutely okay. fine now okay. so okay. welcome once again everyone my today's live conversation is with our principal of air force school bangalore ma'am chumki nath is with me live and we'll be starting with our conversation namaste ma'am thank you prerna uh, for inviting me and giving me this opportunity uh if the show becomes successful for any one single human being in this world and with your show if we can change life of any single human being i think uh, we will be considering ourselves uh, grateful and blessings of by the almighty to do so absolutely absolutely ma'am uh, like ma'am you know we when i was deciding for the conversation of our talk show today i because i have been doing a lot of conversation on women empowerment because i somehow feel that uh, we've been talking about empowering females we've been talking about uh, you know i mean i think every second fellow is actually talking about women empowerment so my concept when i talk about empowerment in like you know for women specifically i believe that if uh, you know we start educating our girls if we start empowering if we start giving wisdom and intellect to these young girls we are empowering the women in making so to begin with my first question uh, you know to you is uh, ma'am that you know uh, the this new society uh, society you know norms and these uh, new trends rather where you know every second fellow is saying that no 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 i support my wife or i support my lady i am empowering her. i'm helping i somehow feel that women i mean you know we as a woman we don't need any support all we you know need 
is basically uh i would not say independence but yes uh, uh you know equality one very important like you know that the treatment jaise bhaiyon ko milta hai waise hi agar behno ko milne lage yani ghar ke ladkon ko jaise milta hai ladkiyon ko milne lage i think wo bhi ek kahin na kahin ek role play karta hai so if we talk about this society like you know specifically if we talk about society where somewhere or the other a small compromises or a small differentiation is been made between a girl and a boy what do you have to say and how can we improvise it because i think it starts uh, happening from our families yes uh, see prerna this show is for the women and by the women you and me sitting at different corners of the country are uh, we are sp- uh, speaking on this topic this itself shows the intensity of the topic and as on date also we women ourselves are not aware about that we are getting differentiated we ourselves don't come to know about it many of the places we take it very easy okay fine it is okay to be differentiated yeah. we don't make ourselves aware uh, that no it is big, uh, big, uh, it is wrong getting done with us we are not able to come at par with many we have certain uh, rules and regulations set up by the government we have certain powers but we are not aware about it and we keep ourselves being discriminated again and again true so uh, many of the places many of the family even today uh, education for the boy is more important than the girl career of the boy is more important than the lady yeah. we will see uh, uh, you know uh, in my school also i will see the women staff very easily sacrificing their career the moment their spouse gets posted Yes. and okay. uh, many of the places where the women are into the profession those profession are not getting that way paid as compared to the profession where the male counterparts are one example are the schools so true in school we will find most of the educators as women and till now the financial part for the educators are not that way taken care of because yeah. Yeah. in that profession mostly we have women Yes, yes. I think uh, that's very rightly uh, said, ma'am. Because you know, this these small uh, things which where we are. I mean, I won't say discriminated, but yes, the balance is not there. The equality is not there. We don't notice because I am not not because you know I'm a. Uh, people say that Prena, you always talk about in favor of female. You always talk about you know empowering females. You talk about you know keeping a uh, woman uh, community in mind. But I just want to say one thing that I feel that ladies, like you know, really females are very compassionate. They compromise not because they want to compromise. It's so automatic in their immune that I I see I see a lot of time my mother, my sister. Look, you know, there are two uh, pieces of cake, and she feel like my mom will think that no, we want to. have it she will automatically say no no mera to man nahi hai khane ka so these are some small gestures where i feel that uh, ladies you know it's in their ma- it's it's actually in their system they yes. women, women empowerment helps in seeking internal reflect, reflection as yeah. to who we are what yeah. are we capable of and what limitations bind us Yes. so raising voice for women empowerment uplifts not only us but those who never had a voice so you are doing a wonderful thing if you are raising that voice god uh, should bless you again and again for doing that uh, don't stop keep doing that but this is not just a concept that we should be fighting for a campaign or but actually yeah. believe us uh, without it we limit our potentials and uh, we limit our growth so women face subjugation and don't have a voice of their own in many of the places yeah. they are deprived of many basic rights like even uh, say simple thing like right to live yeah. right to education these are simple yeah. things many of the places the women don't get the right to choose the career yeah. and all the women even don't get the right to live happy Yeah. many of the places so basics yeah. rights are still a luxury for millions of uh, girls the women in our country or i may say in many parts of the globe so many places even today uh, you will see that there are stereotypes and stigma attached to womanhood which hinder the progress of women yes. so they pose as a hurdle in uh, her way of life 
so to eradicate all those women empowerment is very much necessary and women empowerment is very valuable for the development and advancement of the family right. community as well as the nation so true so true ma'am uh, ma'am when we talk about education because i feel that uh, you know education is one tool which will bring i mean which actually brings the change and yes. uh, i i can you know see because i mean i as my profession is also like that i am an education consultant so i keep on traveling and whenever i go to schools whenever i see uh, when i when i talk to these i mean irrespective i'm talking to a girl student or a boy student i have seen that anybody who is uh, Uh, literate and educated why i you know to be precise i'm talking about uh, literacy itself because i think most of the time we are educated but we aren't literate but when i talk i mean i you know any age group i'm talking to ma'am if i if they have wisdom if they have intellect the change is very evident i mean you know it's in their it's in their thinking pattern so i have i would say that i do i was knowing since the beginning that education is the key but now i believe with a lot of evidence and a lot of uh, self uh, tested and tried uh, you know ways where i see that when we are educated when education is one tool so maybe it might take time but the change is you know is happening for sure so yes, yes. keeping this in mind ma'am i think that right to education not only for the boys like you know for the male uh, student as well as for the girl child how important is it because as you have said because we we see we uh, we uh, come from a kind of society if i talk about you if i talk about myself where i talk about that uh, you know ladkiyon ko padhaya nahi ja raha girls ki education ko nahi ho raha to nobody believes me they say that nahi preda you know everything is so fine everything is happening great but as you have said there are patches there are places where still you know it's it's a struggle for a girl to go to school to leave all those household work and to just study there are places i mean yes, you know, i mean uh, according to nelson mandela education is the most powerful weapon which we yeah. can use change the world yeah. education can give you uh, personal social economical financial all kind of security even Absolutely. if you have even if you have that security you are not aware about that security so Absolutely. education only can uh, make you aware about that and it can facilitate all the empowerment uh, around you yes. even if you have the facilities you have the bank near you but you don't know how to utilize yes. that bank true right so, true, so true, true. Uh, education only gives you that awareness and most of the violence against uh, women and the gender discrimination is as a result of social stigma and women are considered still now as uh, dependent as consumers not as producers okay and they do not contribute economically to the family income yeah. yet so if they are economically empowered and then they are considered as producers not as consumers and if they are considered as a source of income to the family yeah. then their status go up within yeah. but us pehle women pehle apni pehchan to khud kar le khud se khud ki pehchan hona bahut zaruri hai absolutely i think as you have as we've been uh, saying we've been talking about that there are still some patches some part of uh, you know uh, the globe where still that you know people are working for this uh, this community where they are educating where they're trying to educate the girls the ladies that how important is education how important is to be financially independent because i feel like you know the kind of society we are in the kind of schools i see in and around me i see that all the girls they don't need any more uh, buck up they don't need any more push that no no beta you will have to study you have to make your career they are already uh, i am say they're prepared rather that you know when they are stepping out of their house they're prepared that they're going to their school then from school they're going to some good colleges in fact i tell you this is something really very very interesting uh, ma'am that now i see that like you know from class 9th and 10th students especially the girls because you know if i talk about 10 years 15 years back i assume that uh, the agenda would not be in uh, this that year after 12th i have to go to one of the top colleges or universities but now when i talk to the students the uh, the you know the conversation has changed their agendas have changed and now they are more more like that uh, ma'am i want to go to some good college i want to pass out i want to go to du i want to go to iit or something 
so that's what i'm saying that change might take time but the consistency of doing things and you know repeatedly doing uh, the thing for yourself yes, and you are uh, right prerna you you go to any of the education organization you will yeah. see that the females the girls the women are bringing out more, better academic performance than the other counterpart now here i am not discriminating i am telling you as per the data yeah. but still uh, till such time you and me have to discuss on the topic women empowerment i think the journey is still a long way yeah yeah until and unless we have to discuss on that topic we have not achieved the complete empowerment yeah yeah a time aisa aana chahiye when we have to speak about men empowerment <laughs> then maybe the women are very much empowered i guess <laughs> absolutely i think uh, people who are watching us must be like hey, they keep on prerna keep on doing uh, the conversation on women empowerment but nobody is considering us as one <laughs> community we also need uh, empowerment but as i've said that there are still patches there are still places where girls need to be informed they need to be really rightly educated when i say rightly educated i think it's very very important they need to know their rights at least so as you have said ki pata bhi nahi hota yeah abhi gradually women are getting that uh, status you can see that in in armed forces uh, you know uh, and even in uh, armed forces naval air force many of the categories gradually the women are entering uh, last year uh, uh, girl children got admission started getting admission yeah. in sanit school those all were completely dominated by male counterparts gradually it is coming up you will find many uh, uh, serials in even in ott platform also that okay that typical image the typical stigma it is getting eradicated but still it's a long way uh, this thing i will tell you one small example uh, yeah. Uh, two weeks back my domestic help uh, she has three daughters and one son okay. so uh, her son met with an accident her problem was not that her son has met with an accident mere iklote bete ka accident hua hai she herself is a working lady who is earning for the family husband is worth for nothing but still she is thinking like that so i feel the journey will end when each and every woman will give that self worth Yeah. They will not consider कि एक बेटा है तो तीन बेटी है तो you know that I know I know that, I know. that should end each yeah. and everybody should be treated equally and yeah. definitely uh, government also has to uh, uh, come out with better solutions better support in this yeah. matter yeah i think uh, if we talk about the government or if we talk about uh, schools also or maybe if we talk about us as an educators we been doing we been passing the information we are trying to uh, i won't say convince but rather counsel i you know because I, whenever i met i mean if you talk you talk about your domestic help so i'm sure aapne baat ki hogi samjhane ki because i think kahi na kahi aap jab uh, convince karte ho to aapka point uh, thoda kamzor ho jata hai but jab aap counsel karte ho with the with the point and the logic you are uh, you know trying to express that becomes very very important so yeah. i whenever i get a chance in fact that is for everybody whoever is watching us whenever you get a chance to counsel somebody with the right logic do that because <laughs> i feel yeah. that aap jab aise baat karte ho at times uh, we know the right logic it's just that uh, uh, what people say or what society will say or what the other fellow is saying hum usme itna confused ho jate hain that we ourselves miss the right logic yes and you know uh, uh, empowerment through uh, legislation and social reforms yeah. is also very important because mm-hmm. when women have economic empowerment through education uh, you know due to lack of legislation and social awareness at times they get limited to the society yeah. so uh, young girls may be getting married uh, and then may be sacrificing their career they are not aware about what all help they can get from government what all things they have they can approach government government or maybe a nearby uh, uh, small government yeah. body they can yeah. go and approach uh, they can approach for domestic violence anything but yeah. they if uh, you know uh, these days this uh, uh, advertisement for amazon pay is very much popular you yeah. had it and uh, 
you know i had it and i didn't even know it so even for same is for the women you have that power you have those rules but you are not aware about it you don't know what is your own potential you don't know what your government is doing for you how can you avail the opportunity yeah yeah i think that very uh, rightly explained uh, because uh, it's just that it's everything is around us all we need to do is we need to pay attention one two talk about it i somehow feel that when we don't talk when we don't express that is also one thing that we are subsiding that uh, in that right information or that right thought somewhere so that's very very yes. important to uh, be attentive one to be uh, just just be cautious what's happening what government is doing or otherwise also what's happening what are people talking about what is happening because i get i get a lot of inspiration people say that prena you you know you talk when you it's so inspiring i said i myself get this uh, you know motivation and inspiring uh, ka jo shot hai that is when i see the other stories when i see what is happening across When because how? your your uh, talks may be helping the other women in seeking internal reflection yeah. as to who we women are and what are we are capable of what are our limitations which are binding us yeah. so if you keep raising voice that is uplifting them okay this is just not a, a simple one single concept it is a very yeah. long way uh, it is in a it's a very vast topic you know so uh, if we if we uh, this discussion or talking on this is just triggering the issue again and again and maybe if one single woman uh, gets to know and gets motivated becomes aware uh, the mindset of the entire society cha- uh, changes it helps us okay so uh, i feel that we should be having talks like this and we should keep uh, motivating the other women also to come forward and uh, influence the other women yes yes i think that's very very important because uh, coming from the same uh, community really uh, you know leaves it uh, mark because when when we when i see somebody some uh, inspiring story of a female i get motivated instantly i feel that jab wo kar sakte hain to hum kyun nahi kar sakte you know so that has to be very very important so we should not be uh, we should not uh, hold ourselves that nahi what will people think or what my family going to think about it we should just do it and yes when we make i somehow feel that that this is again a tried and tested formula jab hame lagta hai ki hum jo kar rahe hain wo sahi hai aur wo sahi hota hai so sooner or later everybody starts accepting it so yes definitely and another important thing is uh, women should be from the very beginning trained made aware as well as adapt to learn certain life skills to handle yeah. and from various conflicting situations uh, right. in their life how to increase their self esteem and how to build their confidence that is very much uh, required though we uh, have various programs like mahila udyog beti bachao beti padhao free education to uh, uh, girl children self employment opportunities government has given yeah. many yeah. initiative government has uh, given as of now but still uh, they themselves when they are aware about certain life skill and when they adapt Uh, those life skills and when they try to come out of their comfortable zone yeah giving the proper uh, i will say use the word fight in their counterpart to their counterpart then only they will be able to uh, get the uh, almost the uh, outcome from the uh, those facilities which the government has providing them they will yeah. not be able to achieve from those uh, facilities which the government is giving them until and unless they are making themselves equipped to get the those facilities true so true so true yeah even even today if you see a lady driving a bullet panch gardan piche jhukti hai पीछे की तरफ देखेगी कि ओके द लेडी इज ड्राइविंग अ बुलेट अभी भी है यू नो नो वन कैन डिनाइ अ मैन राइडिंग अ बुलेट इज एब्सोल्युटली टेकन एज अ नॉर्मल एंड अ लेडी ड्राइविंग अ बुलेट अभी भी सो देयर इट स्पीक्स अ वॉल्यूम अबाउट स्टिल वेयर वी आर एंड वेयर वी हैव टू गो कुछ एक्सीडेंट हो गया है अच्छा वुमेन ड्राइवर है तो ऐसा तो होना ही है एज इफ वॉट एवर एक्सीडेंट आर है 
yeah very so i mean these me. are very small uh, you know small things and uh, which are just uh, around us it's just that uh, i think i at times ignore and i at times just uh, very logically and uh, you know with a lot of uh, straight forwardness i just put my point that uh, as you have said ki sare accidents sirf ladkiyan jo chalati hain unki wajah se nahi hote so the point here is basically it's, it's just about uh, we i mean empowering or if we talk about women empowerment doesn't mean that it's a one day story no it is not yes. i think you me everybody who is watching us everybody around us plays a very very important role in letting this happen so i feel that these conversations probably these conversation where we are speaking our mind we are uh, sharing our experiences uh, bring a lot of uh, i won't say enlightenment but yes clarity that's very very important because as you have said jaise bullet ka example hai ya jab gaadi chalati hain ladkiyan ye example to mujhe lagta hai har kisi ne apni life mein aaj tak face kiya hi hoga khud nahi kiya hoga to suna hoga ya khud kiya hoga you know khud bhi kar sakte hain and i see a lot of girls making fun of girls rather so that's again very uh, for me uh, that, that that is the weakest link in this entire yeah. topic you know the we talk about women empowerment we want women empowerment we appreciate women empowerment but somehow we women ourselves restrict from being empowered yeah we yeah, yeah, have that to change as i mentioned earlier you know that their education is important because education is the most important tool for the development of a nation to change that mindset in in this world uh, you know women and girls together carry two thirds of the burden of the world's work yet they receive uh, you know tenth of world's income oh and uh, they sh- if they are rightly uh, educated about the economic exploitation if they are aware that what is their status in this entire country in this entire world as you know uh, it was rightly told by mahatma gandhi ji that if you educate a woman you educate an entire family so by educating women we can ab- abolish the need for uh, women empowerment yeah. so education will pave the road for women empowerment more the education more confidence will be in inst- in girls and that social stigma and specially uh, nari hi nari ki badi shatru ye sab jo cheeze hain uh, abhi bhi hai if you uh, dress up in a different way and you know even uh, like uh, being in a metro uh, staying in a um, apartment community uh, even when uh, i am also completely coming out every day and driving and all some people look it as an awe some people take it as an inspiration but there are many who are many close to us they take it as a, a means it will be a negative word but they take it as an complex yeah yeah so, i i mean uh, i can i can totally agree to what you have said and i tell you people who are watching especially the females they can totally relate to it because it's a day to day story it's basically it's uh, we say that we pick what we want to pick so people who want to pick good they will pick good people who don't want to pick good they'll be like oh i don't know what what is it and you know i don't understand her work oh she keeps on traveling so yes it's it's in our mind as i've said as you have said ma'am that agar hamare man mein hai ki bhai we want to do it and it's right it will take time it will definitely take time but sooner or later people will start accepting it and but that, that is why pragmatic approach is very important very to bring change in any problem or any issue just by uh, talking raising slogans drafting posters giving speeches or uh, designing schemes and all it will not uh, help yeah. us to make it actually happen okay so effective and timely implementation of ideas is very much essential and uh, it is very much essential that you know everyone joins together even the men uh, join together for women empowerment bas ek ikloata nari divas मना के नहीं रह जाते हम नवरात्रि मनाते हैं माता की पूजा करते हैं बट वो माता की पूजा के जो जितने भी प्रोसेस हैं पूजा की जो भी करने की विधि होगी एंड ऑल दैट अगेन विल बी फॉलोड बाय वुमेन सो चेंजेस आर नीडेड रिड्यूसिंग ग्लास फीलिंग वुमेन बीइंग इन इंपॉर्टेंट पोजिशन वुमेन बींग गिवेन सम मोर चांसेस टू एजुकेशन लीडिंग देयर करियर्स विदाउट बींग रिड्यूस टू अ डोमेस्टिक रोल विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट 
giving a, a woman a chance to uh, make their own path rather than uh, choosing a career or path for them if they decide their own career if they decide their own future uh, i feel uh, it will be a big achievement for the entire uh, society yeah absolutely well i think it was a very uh, you know positive and a very uh, i will say like you know that it felt like that two like minded people are <laughs> talking so thank you so much uh, ma'am you know giving me your time and uh, coming live with me today it was really so lovely to have you here it doesn't feel like that you know uh, people from two different states are talking yes uh, and keep doing this good uh, job prerna uh, because you are really doing uh, very good to the society and if Uh, we can together bring some changes in this society uh, that's what i think your and my objective today was to come together and have this talk show thank you so much for giving me this opportunity thank, thank you, you so much thank you ma'am see you soon thank in you. bangalore thank you yes yes most welcome <laughs> thank okay, you so much bye ma'am take care thank you, thank you thank everybody you. who watched us thank you